everybody, it's Peter Tiarina back with another warm-up related quick tip. And if it's warm-up related, it's probably actually related to all of your playing. So today I'll be sharing some thoughts on relaxation. So when someone tells you to relax when you play, maybe even your teacher, it might seem kind of hard and like impossible to do. It's going to take a lot of practice on your own terms to go ahead and incorporate this in your playing. So it's one thing to incorporate in your playing, and then I'd say the next level is to incorporate it into your performance, and that takes even longer. I mean, you're going to have to be practicing that when you perform. I mean, there's all sorts of techniques for different issues. Tension all the way down from the bottom up. A lot of the time as a trombonist especially, we have neck tension, shoulder tension going down to our back, etc. It might extend down to our arms or wrists our fingers or even you know in our embouchure so one of the things I try to do when I start playing for the day or really anytime I pick up the trombone is try to relax my shoulders and neck I might even kind of do this from kind of stretching you know one side you might see me do this from time to time if uh, you play with me on a regular basis and I do something like this and it's pretty tight for me here from years and years of playing. I think I've been playing for 22 years or so. I might even try to stretch the front of my neck. You know, a lot of times as trombonists we do this or that could be also from really poor posture. So I try to kind of do some basic stretches, especially in this area here. You want to open up the chest a little bit, expand this area. You want to think like hugging like, I don't know everything <laughs> and I like to face this way <sighs> so that's the first thing and I want to try to keep that same relaxation in those areas when I go to play so basically what we're doing here is trying to strip the tension before you play and even as you're playing just try to peel back the layers of tension along the way okay so I'll start with the middle F and try to keep this area relax in my case if there are other areas of tension try stretching those areas if possible or just mentally thinking let go let it go it doesn't even exist forget about it you just want to be completely relaxed like maybe that feeling when you've worked all day and you have nothing left <sighs> so you're just sitting there you don't have any tension you just want to go straight to the bed and sleep for like 12 hours so wherever that tension may be, for right now it's, we'll start with here, and then when I go play, try to just think about letting go of everything, but especially those areas. So there's a little tension in my shoulders, maybe not tension, but they're slightly raised. Part of it is that I have short arms, so actually I play down here, so I do have to raise them a little bit as opposed to raise them like this to bring the mouthpiece up. I'll try that again. Relax, let go. Similar thing here in the embouchure. Um, you want to try, try to have the minimal amount of pressure. You need a tiny bit of pressure, otherwise it might sound something like this. Just enough to create a seal. And just relax into it and just sit on it. Just like, it's like you're taking a breath with your body or with your air and letting that resonate. And slowly, you know, start to add more. If you're just starting out for the day, maybe some long tones or slow scales might be nice. And as you start to play faster or start to play higher, you want to have this same kind of a letting go-ness. In the beginning, don't worry about mistakes, crack notes, uh, any of that stuff. The focus here is to relax. The thing is you can only focus on like a couple of things at a time max, and some might even argue one thing at a time. So if we're focusing on relaxation, intonation, accuracy, pitch, all these other things are gonna suffer. At first, and as you start to practice and over the years, you all start to kind of improve and just get better overall. So let me play gradually faster and maybe a little bit higher and just try to let go. <sighs> And similar to another video that I made recently, I'm gonna to try to think about that warm air resonating the horn while I'm doing this. That should also help you relax, especially in the shoulders. Blowing through like a tube. And letting go.
So try that out uh, in your daily practice for a while and try to record yourself every day or at the very least from day one till maybe seven days later, day seven, and see if there's any improvement. If there is, let me know down in the comments. You don't have to, but give me some feedback and let me know how it's helping you. And just any kind of tension you might have, apart from exercises and kind of a, maybe some rehabilitation movements, try to apply this to tension spots, be it in your throat, your neck, and your embouchure. It could be a little more complicated than that, so you might want to see a professional. In any case, you probably want to see a professional if you have the means, but um, I'm hoping this will help ease any kind of tension, at least a little bit. You always want to think about stripping the layers of tension like an onion. You keep uh, taking those layers off, always. So over time, you're already in the habit, and then hopefully after some weeks and months and maybe even years, your playing should be a lot more relaxed without thinking about it. So I hope this helps. If it does, or if it doesn't, let me know down in the comments. And if you have any requests, questions, etc., also let me know down in the comments. Until next time, peace.